de- degree of unsaturation remains same triple bond triple bond and you have a different functional group so this is the functional isomer of this ethane nitrile benzoyl alcohol benzoyl group is this group you have a benzene outside benzene you have a ch2 and that ch2 has a free bond this is benzyl group benzyl alcohol meaning you have a alcoholic group in that free bond so this is benzyl alcohol now you have to get a functional isomer of this benzyl alcohol now functional isomer you have to change the functional group now this is alcohol now changing the functional group you can get now we have seen here how you can change the functional group you can have a ether so one of the obvious functional isomer that you can draw of benzyl alcohol is this methyl phenyl ether this is what you can get you can get one more functional group or many more functional isomers this is alcohol this is ether alcohol this is ether this is, these are two different functional groups you know there is one more functional group that you can draw in case of this ring which you could not draw in this case of aliphatic uh, compound open chain compound there is a functional group called phenol phenol has oh group but the difference being that oh group is on benzene ring or an aromatic ring any other benzoid ring or any other aromatic ring if you have a oh group there then that is called phenol this is one kind of phenol now phenol have resonance if you don't know resonance don't bother but there is something called resonance that you will study shortly if you haven't studied and because of that something which is called resonance the property of this oh group which is attached on this benzene ring directly is different than the property of this oh group which is not directly attached to the benzene ring that's why properties are different that's why the functional groups are different although they seem to have same oh but because of the difference in the connectivity one is one is directly attached to the aromatic ring aromaticity if you don't know don't bother this is there's something called aromaticity and cyclic ring shows that property but don't bother for this isomerism but do bother as such that you don't know it go and study aromaticity but uh, for the purpose here will not be requiring the knowledge of aromaticity but nevertheless OH group attached on a ring having pi bond is different than the OH group which is not directly attached to the ring which is attached to a carbon so different properties different functional group this is called alcohol this is called phenol and to set the molecular formula you have to add a methyl group this becomes cresol if you remember from the last problem this is orthocresol similarly you will have a metacresol similarly you have a paracresol so all together you will have five isomers okay okay then so let's uh, there are more problems we can solve but uh, we'll do it later uh, this will this much will suffice for functional isomerism let's move on and move to the fourth kind of structural isomerism which is called meta merism metamerism is a kind of structural isomerism in which you have different alkyl groups attached on two sides of a functional group or a hetero atom for example for example for example if you have ether if you have this ether the name of the ether will be propyl methyl ether you have propyl on one side methyl on one side ether propyl methyl ether i can bring one carbon from right hand side to left hand side and make two two carbons on both side so i can make it as two c2h5 and then c2h5 fine so uh, uh, now the molecular formula of course remains same look you have four carbon four carbon one oxygen and one oxygen and 10 hydrogen and 10 hydrogen molecular formula same but they have different alkyl groups on diff two sides of a hetero atom on a ether is a functional group in this functional group you have different alkyl groups on two sides of the functional group or a hetero atom so this kind of isomerism is called metamerism similarly uh, can you draw 
can you can you can you can you draw the number of possible metamers of this propyl ethyl ether try out to draw try out to find the number of metamers this 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 ether will have so try out distributing it one carbon on one side and four carbon on other side this will be one possible shifted one carbon to right hand side then you have uh, you have already the five right so how you can distribute this five you have distributed as two three then you can give it as one four and then there's no more options are there no so in this case these two will be possible i guess five as two three and then one and four and then zero five can't be possible because if we are having zero carbon that means it became alcohol it is no more ether so uh then try out for this c3 i mean i mean sorry it will be c3 at seven c3 at seven o oh, c3 at seven how many metamers will this have you have all together six right so you can have one on one side and then five on the other side then you can have two on one side and four on the other side you can have three three and then you'll have again four and two will same four and two two here so five and one these are the three possible there will be no more so these all are metamers simple easy to understand no problem then the question is draw the metamer of of uh, of 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 what draw the metamer of 2 pentanone if you have 2 pentanone 2 pentanone you'll have like this five carbons ketone on second carbon you have a functional group on one side you have methyl on other side you have propyl so you can distribute it you can change the distribution of the carbon on both side of a functional group then you'll get a metamer so uh 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 but the problem would be you have trouble when someone ask you whether these two are metamers or these two are position isomers because in position isomers we have studied that the functional group position changes then they are called position isomers and we have dealt with this example and we 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 studied these two as position isomers so in this kind of ambiguity generally the ex accepted convention is that generally metamers are not considered for these cases these cases are called as position isomers metamers are more popular when there is a heteroatom like in case of ether like in case of amine if you have a amine like this it, it's a heteroatom so in these cases of oxygen and nitrogen if you have a sulfur it's a heteroatom so in case of heteroatom it is exclusively called as metamer in case of ketone when the position of ketone is changing they are not called metamers generally they are accepted as position isomers so we'll 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 follow the same convention we'll not call it as metamers we'll call them as position isomers for example if you have a uh, amine if you have a substituted amine if you have a 2 degree amine and if you have this kind of amine if you have n methyl n propyl amine then you can have a metamer in this case you can have n ethyl n ethyl or n then diethyl amine so these are metamers if you have a heteroatom if you have your different distribution of carbon on both sides that will give you metamer okay